One year later, we're back at Four Peaks Trail doing a little off-roading. We are, huh, we have my brother here. We got the Tacoma in the back. This is the first time Tacoma's been off-road since we got it uh, a couple months ago. And we actually just got the lift. If you haven't seen the video for the lift we did, check that out. Uh, we got a three inch lift on that. My daughter is uh, here for the first time with an off-road experience. So hopefully she enjoys it and comes out a little bit more often. So we got the Forerunner today and we have the Tacoma. We're gonna hit this trail. We're probably gonna do about 10 to 12 miles. Our goal is to hit Roosevelt Lake, which we did not hit last time we were here. So just airing down right now, taking a little bit of break. We're gonna hit the trail and uh, find a place to have some lunch. It's supposed to be a trail off of the Four Peaks main trail that takes you deep into the forest, which is kind of a remote area. And our goal is to find that today. Most of the trails here at Four Peaks are pretty open and not very technical. However, there are a lot of very nice and scenic places to explore. As you drive down the main trail, you'll see a lot of the places that are good spots to set up camp. There are also areas where you'll notice a number of people stop and shoot at the base of the mountain. Because it is not too technical, Four Peaks is also a good spot for full-size rigs. Every time we get out on these off-road trips, we take a good amount of footage from several cameras and the drone. But I always seem to remember things I experienced or saw and became so fascinated by them that I forgot to turn the camera on. Even though I find it frustrating when I go to edit these and produce the videos, I guess it's sort of a blessing that those are the times when the camera is off when you have that chance to take in the moment uninterrupted. We're traveling deeper into the Four Peaks Trail here and I got my daughter beside me and my brother Joe is in the Tacoma. <laughs> my brother Joe is in the Tacoma behind us. So we are looking for a different road to take where we can go deeper into the forest. I won't say the name of the road because I want to keep it kind of quiet. So we'll explore a little bit further on. As we get deeper in here, we're going to look for a spot to set up for our lunch as well. Yeah, we're about nine miles or so in from the Four Peaks Trail, <clears throat> and we're still traveling up uh, north, kind of northeast, and we decided we're just going to stop, take a little bit of a lunch break. So this is actually the same spot we stopped at last year when we were out here, and um, it's just a real scenic spot. It overlooks kind of where we came from, uh, from a higher point, so we can see down into the valley a little bit further. And, uh, and we're gonna head out here shortly after lunch. We'd like to get deeper into the, uh, the forest. The desert kind of changed to more of a forest scenery um, right after a water crossing that's coming up in a mile or so. Okay. We actually did stop in several different areas along the trail just to take in more of the scenery and explore more of the area. Overall, this turned into about a six hour day out on the trails and we had a lot of good times and a lot of laughs, a lot of smiles and a lot of exploring. That makes for a wonderful day to spend out with the family and away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Also, it's incredible that we had the opportunity to spend time in the day with my daughter who normally doesn't get out to these outdoor events and to see her enjoying herself out here and playing around and taking photographs, which she loves doing, was just a special moment. And believe it or not, it was also great spending time with my brother, who I only get to see for about half the year because the other half he spends out on the East Coast. But it was wonderful to watch him in the new Tacoma that we just got and enjoying and getting used to the new three inch lift that was put on. It also motivated me to get that suspension that's sitting in my garage for a few months into the Forerunner and get that thing out and about into some more technical trails.
made it 18 miles in and decided this was our turnaround point. We did want to make it down to Roosevelt Lake, but we were concerned because we heard the lake was flooded. And if that was the case and we had to turn around, it would put us well into night travel, which we did not want to do. The wind was crazy up here and the temperature dropped about 18 degrees from when we first started. But we did take some time to enjoy the cool air and incredible view while we were here. <laughs> it is so windy. The good news is we found a uh, real great camping spot right between two, um, two water crossings. So that's probably where we're going to end up uh, at some point in the next month or so before my brother heads back to New Jersey with the Tacoma. So it's been a great uh, trip here in Fort Peaks. So the second time back when we discovered some new areas and um, we discovered a real great camping spot. So we look forward to coming back here and then exploring some other areas soon. This is what happens when you're in Arizona. You get thin skin. It's 48 degrees out. My daughter's bundled up like she's going to Alaska or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right.